What's up, violinists? Today we're going to be talking about Obelisk the Dark Dragon Guard, which was requested by my viewer last month as the champion of the end of the month that I would do a review on. And it is the end of the month, so here it is. Uh, one thing I do want to point about Obelisk is that he is a tank and has a reliably high max HP as well as defense, which is really good. But he also does have one of the lowest attack speeds in the game of 1.4. Now how I would personally build Obelisk is actually with max HP, defense, accuracy, and last being attack. And I will get further into why you will need attack on him when we start looking at his skills, which we will actually do now. Uh, for his very first skill, this does skill on attack. That is one reason you will need attack. And it is called Bludgeon. It swings his mace, damaging enemies. In addition, whenever his HP drops below 30%, it has a chance to raise his defense. This effect can only trigger once every 3 seconds. His skill 1 is Demoralizing Blow. This is another attack that will deal, deal damage based on his attack but also has bonus damage based on his defense. So this is why I recommend attack on him, not as a priority, but if you are able to get it, it will help him a lot. Demoralizing Blow is a mighty blow that deals damage to enemies in a huge arc and lowers attack, bonus damage based on defense. His skill 2 is based on Defense only, it will not scale on attack, so having higher attack or higher defense will help here instead of higher attack power. It is Concussion Slam and jumps to a target location, slamming good the ground, damages enemies, and lowers attack speed with damage based on defense. And his ultimate, which is what makes him really useful in my opinion, is Megaton Stomp. It stomps the ground damage and stuns enemies nearby. Stun duration increases for each debuff on the affected enemy. Bonus or damage is based on defense only as well. And he also has a synergy trait for 25% to defense for all Dark Ally Champions. I do not recommend honestly using the synergy trait. It's great compared to others such as Garai who has a 30% to all champions but with that being said guys let's go ahead and look into his gear as you can see I do have him on a dazzling broken set I do want him on a dazzling vital set however uh, for his shoulders I have him on defense his gloves is HP and his bracer is HP. However, I would like one of these to be defense as well. Alright, Violinist. So this is one of the teams I have been currently testing him out in. Uh, it does actually work quite well. I would personally like to have more accuracy on him. Over 15%. But with the current dazzling gear I had. This is the uh, only amount of accuracy I can get. However, I would like it to be much higher, preferably around 50% accuracy. Alright guys, so here we are at the dragon and we're just going to see how well he does. Uh, one of the things about him, let me select him real quick, that I really like about bringing him in here is because he lowers attack with his one as well as lowering attack speed which is really nice to have in raids uh, for it being on a unit that is also a tank so will be reliably around the duration of the match makes him quite useful in my opinion because he just allows for me to take Xenia as my main healer in and he's able to just keep the boss slow with low enough damage that she's easily able to keep my uh, HP up on my entire team as long as somebody isn't def defense broken and ends up getting one shotted as well which unfortunately does happen quite a bit when he lands there is usually a defense break that gets in in between my garage immunity buff
As you can see, he's already landed the attack break and defense attack speed slow. Uh, like I said, he's really useful for that. Also, one thing, he also uses all of his skills against the boss, which is really good since he does have a very good raid kit as a tank unit. Uh, I did try a few other champions and their kits would not work, such as Crude. His Provoke and Attack Breakdown on Skill 1 will not activate against the raid bosses. So, it was really exciting to actually have this guy and he actually be useful in raids. So here is our... Uh, battle report as you can see he did out damage my Garai which Garai honestly is on a higher defense build so that is something to take note of since Garai is defense defense HP and my Dragon Guard Obelisk is actually only on defense HP HP so he could deal a lot more damage if he was on a tankier defense build So with this arena team, what I decided to take Obelisk in here for is mainly because he had a Blade Master as well as Basalt. And I really just wanted to test out how well he would be able to do with against a Stripper as well as a High Damage Dealer that based off of Attack Speed and Attack. And as you can see, he did quite well. He does die at the end of this first match, but... I was easily able to clean it up right after. The second match he does a little better. Um, I was able to get some stunts in more reliably. And he was just able to easily take them on once he came out of stun himself. Uh, his skills are quite useful I'd say for offense. But his lack in damage makes him a little lackluster there. So I really don't recommend running him on your arena offense but as you can see he is a viable also option for offense as well all right so this is going to be a video of me testing obelisti dark dragon guard in an arena defense comp uh this is the arena defense i actually have currently set up and so therefore i put it on auto just to kind of see how it planned out on its own so I could get an idea how it would work as a defense. The one thing I did like about it is that this team was pretty much unkillable by this, but I also think that the team I chose for this particular fight was also very defense oriented as well and really served no threat. So I can't honestly say that this was a good test option. I will be running more similar tests to it against more offensive style arena defenses. But what I can say is that so far I really do like his kit for arena defense and him being a tank. If you can keep his HP up, he's really going to be a great stall type monster. Uh, both of these matches pretty much actually go the same way. Nobody kills anybody and so forth and so forth. So I'm not actually going to play it all the way through. I'm going to just go ahead and skip. That way it's not a wasted two minutes. I just wanted to show you guys just an idea on what he would look like on your arena defense as well. This is the battle report from the very last match I showed. Um, I just wanted to point out real quick, he also was the highest damage dealer on this team, as well as having some good debuffs thrown in. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for our review of Obelisk, the Dark Dragon Guard. This here, what you are seeing now, is actually a teaser trailer that I've been making for Udongo, the... Nature Grublin Slinger, a net 2, and a story about the Grublins that I plan on doing. So I decided to just go ahead and put this little teaser out because I've been making several videos um, of Udongu and how well he, he can be and how useful he is, especially in Arena. Um, but I wanted to take it a little farther than just doing a normal review. So... 
what I'll be doing is actually building a story of him and how he's going to be banding with the other Grublins on an adventure to finally take out ED-10 as their final goal. So I really hope that this goes through well and this might interest you guys. Um, if it does, please let me know in the comments below and I will put some more work into this. I've done about four or five hours so far into it so far, but it will be definitely edited down. And thanks again for watching.